Okay, day 235. Uh, really crappy uh, workout this month. I, I didn't do really do much, but enough to say I worked out. But worked a muscle, a muscle. Uh, did a lot of video stuff today. Went to um, this two hour uh, um, video mastermind. All honesty, I, I knew more than they did, which is <laughs> sad. Uh, Spanish, I studied to get ready for my Spanish class tonight. So I'll go ahead and get that knocked out. That's pretty much it. Uh, what I want to talk about today is just all these GD emails. I get three to 500 damn emails a day. Now you got idiots texting their opportunities. It says, why do they want to discover email all of a sudden and then just start sending email after email? Some of these idiots will send 10 emails a day and these assholes who've discovered affiliate marketing. All their stupid ass emails. Jesus. I want to hurt some of these people someday. Uh, yeah, so most of my days are just fending off email after email after email. And Google, Gmail doesn't exactly damn help. It doesn't matter. You can mark the shit spam. You can go into your settings and say, send this straight to um, whatever. Google doesn't care. Google doesn't work anymore. And it just really makes me sad. I'm almost wondering if I just, uh, you know, like did another G, space, uh, G Suite slash work uh, place space, whatever, and just had all of my mail consolidated there. Because if I'm paying for it, maybe Google will do its damn job. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous that I can't get crap done during the day because of email after email. And then uh, another pet peeve I got of all these idiots, like the stuff you post on social media, especially Instagram, you get all these people who friend you, who like all of your pictures and everything, like, and then send you promoted on Military Blaze, promoted on... So I wish I had this, wasn't using this phone, I can tell you. I mean, I post something every damn day. And, you know, your phone goes crazy with all these idiots. And there'll be like 10 separate people for Military Blaze. I'm assuming it's affiliate effing marketing. I don't know who discovered this stuff. I want to go kill them. If they're dead, I want to dig up their bodies, piss in their mouths, and rebury them. People don't have time for this bullshit anymore. I don't bother people. I really don't. I, I try not to. I minimize my bothering people. I send out one email a week to real estate clients. One. Why can't they send out one? Why do they got to send out five, six emails a damn day? It's just absolutely ridiculous. That's my rant today because, I'm sorry, it just gets on my nerves all damn day. I open one damn email. By the time I do something with it, I close it at 20 more. Literally, literally. Oh, and I'm also going to rant a little bit on uh, folks. Uh, I'm try to keep it vanilla. So I, I don't get this. If you're looking to buy a house and your lender tells you you can have a we're going to make numbers up now. You can have a loan for 500000 Okay, cool. But when they do that, and I think it's the lender's fault. They don't explain this very well. And they don't follow up with the clients because people don't want to hear. Uh, that 500000 is 500000 straight. So if you buy a house with something like an HOA and it's 500000 you can't afford it. You buy something that has a very high HOA, you may be able to get 450, 425, not 500. But I'll tell these, I'll tell people this, and it's like, okay, the lender said the maximum you can borrow if you were to find a place with, uh, we're just gonna make it up, 150 dollar a month HOA. The maximum place you can buy is 475. 
then why do you keep sending me $500,000 houses? How many times do I have to tell you that? But you know what? I don't realize that it's all about they don't want to listen. They want that $500,000 house that they don't have money for, that they're borrowing money for, and the lender's only going to give them four seventy-five dollars if they have a $150 HOA. But they keep sending it. Why? I don't know how many hits I have to do. Do I have to go like, no? I mean, gee whiz. Just all kinds of little stuff like that just rubs me, man. Rubs me. Another one that rubs me is when you have highly specialized stuff that you need to do that you now I got to check on every one of them and you send me two houses. I'm sitting there start trying to do the research. You send me another house. Well, instead of being efficient and getting all the stuff I need done, I got to stop everything I'm doing to check on this one. Then I'm going through stuff, and then two hours later, you send me another house. I hate when people are just sitting there. They have the day off, and they're just flicking through Zillow and Redfin and everything else. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's send that to the realtor. You know what? Send them all at one time because your realtor will uh, be able to get them done at one time. And a lot of times when stuff hasn't been done uh, with a real estate agent, the reason is people who are sitting there doing like this. Because if you send houses throughout the day, instead of at one time, you've taken up that real estate agent's entire day. So when people sitting around wondering, why didn't you respond and all this stuff? That was the reason why. And get, uh, get during a busy season. You know, like in the spring, you got five or six people doing the same thing, let alone trying to show you a house. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, probably want to open up a few things tomorrow if I can ever catch up. Reason I, I just do these things in between uh, stuff or even my YouTube videos. I can't do them the way I want to my other channel because it's emails and stuff like this. If everyone was efficient, this thing will work great. Anyway, I've ranted enough, but hey, that's what I do on this channel. I rant and open some things and who knows, maybe I'll uh, one day become good enough where people, well, I guess if I'm a ranter, they don't, they're not going to send me anything. You know, they'll start sending me free crap, you know, review their 3D printer and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway uh, as a matter of fact I need to get up I just printed something on the 3D printer just to try to use up this roll of filament alright see you guys